in a male dominated society females are held responsible for the sex of the child but it has been scientifically proved that in most organisms including human beings the sex of the offspring is determined by the type of sperm that fuses with the female gamete that is the ovum but still in certain backward areas of our country women are still being blamed for bearing a girl child these people go in for female feticide and female infanticide these shocking acts are commonly practiced in india and has thus reduced the sex ratio in india strict measures should be adopted to punish such people vidyarthiyo tusi aj di class da vishay ta samajh gaye hovoge aj assi sex determination bare charcha karange assi janange ki oh kehde kehde factors hunde han jo nave paida hon wale jeev da sex nirdharit karde han aj assi sajeevan vich सैक्स डिटर्मीनेशन दिया वक् वक् विधिया बारे जागे अ सैक्स डिटर्मीनेशन सिस्टम इज अ बायोलॉजिकल सिस्टम दैट डिटर्मिन्स द डिवेलपमेंट ऑफ सैक्शुअल कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स इन एन ऑर्गेनिजम स्टूडेंट्स यू नो लिविंग ऑर्गेनिजम्स आर मेड अप ऑफ सैल्स एंड एवरी सैल कंटेन्स टू टाइप्स ऑफ क्रोमोजोम्स ऑटोसोम्स एंड allosomes autosomes are normal chromosomes whereas allosomes are sex chromosomes various mechanisms of sex determination also fall under categories allosomic and non allosomic when sex is determined by the presence of different sex chromosomes it is called allosomic type of sex determination but when the sex is determined by autosomes mechanism is called non allosomic type of sex determination most of the factors which control the sex of an organism are genetic but kuch jeev ajhe vi hunde han jinna da sex determination environment utte nirbhar karda hai bonelia viridis a marine worm and crepidula a marine mollusk are examples of such animals in which sex is determined by the environment in which they are present let us see how it happens in bonelia viridis in case of bonelia viridis sex is undifferentiated in larva the larva which settle down in the mud grow up into mature female while those which settle down near the proboscis of female becomes male it has been observed that adult female of this worm secretes certain hormone which induces male sex features in the larva actually While Hermann Hanking was working to view the mitotic and meiotic division during the formation of sperms in wasps he observed a specific nuclear structure in them this specific nuclear structure appeared throughout spermatogenesis he observed that some sperm cells had 12 chromosomes while others had only 11 chromosomes he named it as x body hanking ne is x body nu identify ta kar liya par us di significance nahi pehchan sake unna de baad jehde scientists ne is field vich kam kita unna ne ise x body nu x chromosome da na ditta presence of an extra x chromosome in females of the species of wasps confirmed that the x chromosome 
plays a vital role in the determination of sex of wasps. Due to its involvement in determination of sex, the X chromosome was named the sex chromosome, while the other chromosomes were known as autosomes. This type of sex determination where sex is determined by the presence of X chromosome was named as the XO type of sex determination. Males only have one X chromosome, XO, while females have two X chromosomes, XX. Ithe O da matlab hai missing X chromosome. As maternal gametes always contain an X chromosome, so the sex of the offspring is decided by the male parent. Its sperm normally contain either one X chromosome or no sex chromosomes. McClung also studied meiosis in the testes of grasshopper in 1902. He noticed that testes of grasshopper contains 10 pairs of chromosomes and a lone chromosome without any pairing partner. Klung concluded that in grasshopper, this lone chromosome might be acting as a sex determiner. Later on, Another scientist, Wilson, found a similar type of chromosomal composition in squash bug, Inasa tristes. Female squash bug had 22 chromosomes, which on meiosis produced eggs with 11 chromosomes each. Male bugs, on the other hand, had 21 chromosomes, which on meiosis formed 10 pairs and one lone chromosome. This unpaired chromosome was called the X chromosome. Chalo hun XO type of sex determination nu visuals rahi samjiye. Grasshopper has a similar genetic composition as that of squash bug. The female grasshopper has 11 pairs of autosomes and one pair of sex chromosome. The genetic composition of the female is represented as 11AA plus XX. The male grasshopper, on the other hand, has 11 pairs of autosomes and only one X chromosome. It is represented as 11 AA plus XO. Here, O signifies absence of a sex chromosome. This type of composition is said to have evolved by the loss of the male Y chromosome found in insects like Drosophila. All ova produced by the female grasshopper have 11 autosomes and one X chromosome. The male grasshopper produces two types of sperms after meiosis, one having sex chromosome present in them and the other with no sex chromosomes, only autosomes. When a sperm containing sex chromosome fertilizes an ovum, the resulting zygote develops into a female. Whereas when an ovum is fertilized by a sperm with no sex chromosome, the zygote develops into a male. This method of sex determination is called the XO type. Besides grasshopper, this method of sex determination is found in many other insects like bugs and cockroaches, etc. The graphic shows the types of gametes produced by the two sexes of grasshopper. When the male gamete with the X chromosome fuses with a female gamete, a female offspring is produced. 
when a male gamete with no sex chromosome fuses with a female gamete, a male offspring is produced. I hope you have understood the XO type of sex determination. Now, we will discuss another system of sex determination that is XY type which is found in Drosophila and human beings. The XY type of sex determination in insects. Drosophila melanogaster, a common fruit fly, cells of which have four pairs of chromosomes, means eight chromosomes each. Drosophila has three pairs of autosomes and one pair of sex chromosome. The two sex chromosomes in the female are morphologically and genetically identical and are called the X chromosomes. The genetic composition of female Drosophila can be represented as 3AA plus XX. Male Drosophila also has three pairs of autosomes and an unidentical pair of sex chromosomes. It consists of an X chromosome and a hook-shaped Y chromosome. The male fruit fly's genetic composition can be represented as 3AA plus XY. This differentiation in the sex chromosomes, two X chromosomes in female, and an X and a Y chromosome in male is found in all cells of the fruit fly and is responsible for determination of sex in Drosophila. It is called the XY type of sex determination. The female fly undergoes meiosis to produce a single type of gamete, means here females are homogametic. All female gametes have three autosomes and one X chromosome, 3A plus X. On the other hand, the male fly produces two types of gametes. Half of the male gametes have three autosomes and an X chromosome, 3A plus X, and the other half have three autosomes and a Y chromosome, 3A plus Y, means the males are heterogametic. Fertilization of an egg with an X chromosome carrying sperm produces a zygote that develops into a female with a genetic composition 3AA plus XX. Fertilization of an egg by a Y chromosome carrying sperms produces a male zygote with the genetic composition 3AA plus XY. So students, we can conclude that in Drosophila, sex is determined by the type of sperm that fertilizes the egg. The presence of a single dose of the Y chromosome stimulates the development of male characters in the fly. In the absence of the Y chromosome, the female characters governed by the X chromosome are expressed. The same setup is seen in human beings. However, unlike humans, in which the presence of a Y chromosome determines maleness, in Drosophila melanogaster, the dosage of X chromosomes determines sex, the XY type of sex determination in humans. Tiju and Levan in 1956 found that a normal human cell contains 23 pairs of chromosomes or 46 chromosomes. Out of these 46 chromosomes, 44 are autosomes and two chromosomes are the sex chromosomes. 
a female has 22 pairs or 44 autosomes and 2 X chromosomes. Her genetic composition can be represented as 22 AA plus XX. A male has 22 pairs of autosomes and an X and a Y chromosome. His composition can be represented as 22 AA plus XY. This shows that the presence of a Y chromosome determines sex in human beings. Chalo visuals rahi isnu samjiye. Sex determination in a human fetus. Formation of spermatids containing male chromosomes takes place like this. In a cell that undergoes meiosis for spermatogenesis has 22 homologous chromosomes and one pair of sex chromosomes of which X chromosome was initially inherited from the mother and Y chromosome from the father. During meiosis 1, haploid cells are formed. Out of these two haploid cells, one contains sex chromosome inherited from mother, the other contains sex chromosome inherited from father. During meiosis 2, these two cells divide to form four cells which finally get converted into four spermatids. Thus, you see here that two types of sperms are produced by every male. Sperms containing X chromosome and sperms containing Y chromosome. In humans, female germ cells undergo meiosis to produce one type of gametes. This happens when the germ cells divide to form ova. In case of female cells undergoing meiotic division, 22 autosomes and one pair of sex chromosome participate but this pair of sex chromosome contains both X chromosomes, that is, one from mother and the other from father. So, it is clear that all ova released by female contain an X chromosome, but spermatids contain two types of chromosomes, that is, one spermatid with an X chromosome and another with a Y chromosome. An ovum fertilized by a sperm carrying an X chromosome develops into a female and while an ovum fertilized by a sperm carrying a Y chromosome develops into a male. Here we can say that the Y chromosome is the sex determiner in human beings. So students, we saw that in the XY type of sex determination, females have two same kind of sex chromosome, that is XX, while males have two distinct sex chromosomes, XY. Hun asi ik hor sex determination de type, ZW type बारे जानांगे, जो कि पंचियां विच पाया जांदा है. Let us try to understand it. The ZW type of sex determination in birds. Till now we have discussed cases where the male plays a role in sex determining by producing two types of gametes. In XO method, 50% sperms produced by the male had the normal count of autosomes along with an X chromosome while the other 50% had only autosomes and no sex chromosome. In the XY method, 50% sperms 
had an X chromosome plus the normal count of autosomes, while the remaining 50% had a Y chromosome along with the normal count of autosomes. A situation where the male produces two types of gametes and is responsible for sex determination is designated as male heterogamity. In birds like chicken, the female bird or the hen possesses two different types of sex chromosomes that segregate during meiosis to produce two different types of gametes. The female bird is therefore responsible for sex determination. Such a condition is referred to as female heterogamity. In order to make a distinction with the XY and XO method of sex determination, the sex chromosomes in female birds are named the Z and W chromosomes. The females produce eggs of two types. One type has Z chromosome and the other type have W chromosome. The males have two copies of the Z chromosome, so all sperms produced as a result of meiosis have one Z chromosome. When a sperm fertilizes a Z chromosome carrying egg, a male is produced, whereas fertilization of a W chromosome carrying an egg produces a female. The ZW sex determination system is a system that determines the sex of offspring in birds. Some fish and crustaceans such as the giant river prawn, some insects and some reptiles. In the ZW system, it is the ovum that determines the sex of the offspring in contrast to the XY sex determination system and the XO sex determination system, where it is the sperm which determines the sex. In a sabto alava, ek whole type of sex determination hai, that is, ZO type of sex determination. In this ZO method of sex determination, the unpaired Z chromosome in the female determines the sex. All the sperms are similar in their karyotype, but it is the ova that differs. The sex of the offspring depends on the ovum that is fertilized. ZO type of sex determination in butterflies. This system of sex determination is found in those organisms where females possess single Z chromosome in their cells and is referred to as ZO type. Here, females are heterogametic, that is, produce two kinds of eggs, half with a Z chromosome and the other half without a Z chromosome. The males possess two Z chromosomes and are referred to as ZZ and are homogametic as they produce single type of sperms, each of which carries a single Z chromosome. On fertilization by a Z carrying sperm, the Z carrying ovum would develop into a male, that is ZZ, and on fertilization, the Z lacking ovum develops into a female. This system is also known as ZOZZ system. So today we have studied four types of sex determination types. If you are confused about the various types of sex determination, let us revise them once again with the help of visuals. We have studied four different types of mechanisms that help in determination of sex in living organisms. The XO type in grasshopper. Sex is determined by whether 
the egg is fertilized by a sperm carrying an X chromosome or by a sperm carrying no sex chromosome. Zygotes produced from the former fertilization are females while the latter fertilization produces male zygotes. The XY type in humans and Drosophila. The male determining genes in human beings and Drosophila are located on the Y chromosome and the female determining gene on X chromosome. Therefore, fertilization of an egg by a Y chromosome carrying sperm produces a male and fertilization by an X chromosome carrying sperm produces a female. However, unlike humans in which the presence of a Y chromosome determines maleness, in Drosophila the dosage of X chromosomes determines sex. The ZW type in birds. Females of chicken are heterogametic. They produce two types of eggs, the Z chromosome carrying eggs and the W chromosome carrying eggs. When a Z chromosome carrying egg is fertilized by a male gamete, a male rooster is produced, whereas when a W chromosome carrying egg is fertilized by a male gamete, a female hen is produced. The ZO type in butterflies. Here too, females are heterogametic, means produce two kinds of eggs, half with a Z chromosome and half without any Z chromosome. The male is homogametic and possesses two Z chromosomes, hence referred to as ZZ. They produce single type of sperms, each of which carries a single Z chromosome. On fertilization by a Z-carrying sperm, the Z-carrying ovum would develop into a male, that is ZZ, and on fertilization of the Z-lacking ovum, it develops into a female. Now let us take up question-answer session to test our understanding of the complete topic. The first question is, the genetic composition of a normal female Drosophila can be represented as the following options. First option, 3AA plus XX, 3AA plus XY, 3A plus X or 3A plus Y. Answer. The genetic composition of female Drosophila can be represented as 3AA plus XX. Next question. Sex determination in a grasshopper is of XY type or XO type or ZW type or XX type? Answer. You got it right. The correct answer is XO type. Next question. A male grasshopper's genetic composition can be represented as the options are 11AA plus XX, 11AA plus XY, 11AA plus XO, 11AA plus YO. Answer. Absolutely right. The correct answer is 11AA plus XO. The next question is, a man who carries a defective Y chromosome will pass on the defective chromosome to which children? The options are all his children, half of his children, only his sons or only his daughters. Answer. 
You are absolutely right. The answer is only his sons. My next question is, which of the following organisms show the ZW type of sex determination? Is it grasshopper or drosophila or human beings or birds? Answer, you have chosen the correct option. The ZW method of sex determination can be seen in birds. I hope you enjoyed the lesson as much as I did and are looking forward to the next class. Thank you for your attention and see you next time. Goodbye.